What if I told you that one of the most revered saints in history was once a party-loving silk merchant's son? That's right. The tale of Saint Francis of Assisi, patron saint of Italy and animals, is a story of radical transformation, spirituality, and an enduring legacy that spans centuries. Our narrative begins in the late 12th century, in the heart of Italy, in a picturesque town known as Assisi. Here, in 1181, a child was born to Pietro di Bernardone, a wealthy silk merchant, and his wife Pica. They named him Giovanni, but his father, fond of France, often called him Francesco, or Francis. Francis lived a life of luxury during his early years, indulging in the joys of youth and wealth. He was known for his jovial nature, his love for parties, and his generous heart. But life had other plans for this vivacious young man. In his early 20s, Francis found himself on the battlefield, fighting for Assisi in a war against Perugia. The experience was a turning point. Captured and imprisoned for a year, Francis emerged a changed man. The frivolities of his previous life lost their charm. He began to seek a deeper, more meaningful existence. His transformation was not immediate. It was a gradual process, marked by moments of profound spiritual experiences, such as his encounter with a leper and a vision in the dilapidated church of San Damiano. The vision led him to repair the church, which he did by selling his father's goods. This act enraged his father, leading to a public disowning, after which Francis, in a dramatic gesture, renounced his inheritance and familial ties. He chose a life of poverty, simplicity, and devotion to God. Francis's radical commitment to a life of poverty and humility attracted followers. This led to the establishment of the Order of Friars Minor, commonly known as the Franciscan Order, in 1209. Francis and his followers lived in the simplest way, owning nothing, working for their food, and preaching about love, peace, and repentance. Francis's devotion was so intense that he is said to have received the stigmata, the wounds of Christ, during a spiritual revelation in 1224. He passed away two years later, leaving behind a legacy of compassion, humility, and love for all creatures. He was canonized as a saint in 1228, just two years after his death. Even today, St. Francis of Assisi's spirit lives on. His teachings inspire millions around the globe. His love for nature and animals led to his recognition as the patron saint of ecology. Every year, on his feast day, animals around the world are blessed, a tradition that pays homage to his teachings. In summary, the life of St. Francis of Assisi is a fascinating journey from a life of luxury to a life of spiritual depth and compassion. The son of a wealthy merchant, Francis renounced his riches and embraced poverty, preaching about love, peace, and penance. His profound spiritual experiences led him to establish the Franciscan order. His devotion was so deep that he is believed to have received the stigmata. Even after his death, his teachings continue to inspire millions, and his love for nature and animals has earned him the title of the patron saint of ecology. So the next time you think about St. Francis of Assisi, remember this. He was not just a saint. He was a man who dared to live differently, who chose love over wealth, simplicity over luxury, and in doing so, left an enduring legacy that continues to inspire the world.